Well, hello there, it's Beards and Bangers. And today, by the end of this video, hopefully both you and more importantly me, know a little bit more about Derek, my BMW E46 330. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So you may remember an earlier episode on this car, me and uh, Smashing Pistons, or mainly Smashing Pistons, we did some paint correction to this wheel arch here. Since then I've done this wheel arch as well, so that was a little bit bubbly and horrible. Um, I have given this a quick pre-rinse before I uh, really set about washing it in detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually wash it and show you, again, show you some reality, show you some of the stuff I use. Uh, I've just started work on... I say just started, it was a little while ago, so I've just started working on this wheel arch as well. That needs a bit, a bit more work. It's, it's in paint, so it's not sitting in primer, um, absorbing moisture and uh, risking rotting out. Uh, what else are we going to look at in this video? Going to look at the wheels. So if I scurry into the unit, um, I've got some MV2s, but I'm going to do a bit of bit of, sort of research and maybe show you some of that research as well, uh, because I, we test fitted both of these wheels to the rear of the car yesterday. Obviously, these are going to get refurbed before they go on. They're they um, they leave a little bit to be desired, um, but these are the MV2s. These are the ones that I decided to put on um, the car, but they protrude a bit too far from the arch so i'm trying to work out the various offsets that bmw wheels has so we'll talk through that um, these have got the wrong tires on so you should have different size tires front and back so i'm going to get the laptop out and actually do a bit of research um, in this video as well um, first job though is to grab some wheel cleaner i'm going to try some diamond bright stuff on the wheels today just to give this a wash can't do any more work on this until i've actually given it a wash because it's been a few weeks since it's had a wash and a few weeks since i did some paint correction so i'll give it a wash and obviously panel wipe the area is I'm going to work on with the paint. Yeah, so here's this diamond bright um, ruby red. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray this on. Just I won't show you every single wheel, but we'll just spray it on this front alloy. And this basically gets all the crud out of the out of the alloys. Well, these, these leave a lot to be desired, but I want the car to look nice. I'm using it uh, fairly regularly at the moment. Um, so there's one done. We'll just do this back one and then I'll do the rest and I'll show you what happens with this stuff. So it's called a foaming wheel cleaner. Um, it smells, it's got, it's got a very chemically smell. So it's obviously, it obviously got something nasty in it, which uh, does the work. So I'll get the rest of these done and we'll show you what they look like when they've been left for a little while. Right, so we've had about five minutes of this stuff, this ruby red stuff sitting in the wheel. You can see it's it's basically dissolved all the, the crud. It's turned red, so that means there's been some kind of reaction. So that, that, that by that you know that even this, where it's really kind of black in there, that's really um, brought that dirt out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse this off. You wanna rinse it off after about five minutes. And then we'll snow foam the car up and, and I'll wash it on time lapse because you've seen me washing a car before and there's plenty of car washing action on the internet. Right, so obviously I'm going to give these a bit of a more of a scrub, but you can really see that's that's really drawn it's a bit more, a bit more to rinse out there, which has got behind the uh, the centre cap. Um, but yeah, that's that's really really got that dirt out. That wheel was pretty filthy. Um, I really can't think of the last time I washed this. Typically, it's just started drizzling, um, but that's okay. It's better. I'd rather it be like this than. Um, than too hot because it's supposed to be hot this weekend but it's not so i'm going to go ahead get the rest of these rinsed off and then we'll snow foam the car up and give it a quick spruce up
Right, so again, we're trying Costco's products. Well, this is not Costco's products. It's Sim um, Simony's uh, Snow Foam. It's mango scented. It smells absolutely lovely. Um, so going to try this one. I'd like to try different products, but this one's okay. Our water around here is pretty hard. Um, so it is, it's really important to get something that does foam up well, even with the hard water. So I'm going to go ahead and get the car all snow foamed. Right, so now we're clean. Um, just going to tackle that. Yours. I'm going to do some 2,000, 3,000 grit on this area here that I've um, that I've uh, treated. So we're just going to go over where I painted, and you may think, "Oh my God, he's sanding it!" But the 2,000 grit's very fine. And then we're going to also put 3,000 after that, and then compound, and then polish. So it's going to bring the shine back. If it doesn't, I've got plenty of more lacquer and colour coat, so, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a rub just in this area with the 2000. I'm doing it dry because we're going we're gonna to use a wet product in a minute anyway, so that'll be the compound, so that will get out any little scratches. So let's take it off the the block. Now I've now I've uh, sort of done the majority with a hard so we'll just now use our hand just to follow this contour. It's quite difficult to sand with that kind of curve. Actually, what that's just doing is just just taking off the top coat of lacquer ever so slightly and we'll just get rid of that orange peely effect i'm then going to switch out to we'll give it a wipe first obviously they're going to switch out to 3000 grit which is really fine and just and that barely feels like you're sanding that's just Let's go a little bit further with this because we're into the areas where we oversprayed, deliberately oversprayed the lacquer. I didn't actually do a video on this because we obviously had Simon's video or my video with Simon a few weeks ago. So I'll do that. I'll do the doing this corner because it's a nice corner to do, but I will I will uh, do that corner as well, obviously. So we'll just give that a quick cloth down and we'll get the grab the uh, the polisher and go over it with some compound.
I was just using my usual product, which is the Meguiar's compound. It's good, good all round stuff. So we're just gonna work round, smear that on. We're gonna do the whole area as well because there was a little bit of overspray. So I'm doing the whole thing. I don't mind catching the lights either because those lights are quite um, faded. So actually just a bit of gentle compound will hopefully bring them back up a little bit. So I'll get this done off camera. We'll clean this up and then uh, we'll do, go over it with some polish as well. All right, so we'll give that a... Oh, we'll chuck our cloth on the floor. Should be okay. Yeah, we haven't picked up any nasties. So, so we'll just give it a, a rub down. It still feels a bit rough. So I think we're going to need to keep going a bit now one important thing to note is I, I haven't just done this two days after spraying it so I probably did the paint work on this about three weeks ago so it's really had a a good amount of time to go off but yeah that shine's actually come back obviously in this light it's not the easiest thing to see but we can pull the car back in a moment. So that's, that's done with the compound. So I'll, off camera, I'll do it now with polish. There's an area that needs a bit more flatting back, I think, with sandpaper. So I'll just quickly do that. We'll polish it off camera. And then uh, this wing will hopefully look a little bit nicer. Right, so that's polished up quite nice. I will do some more attention to this we need to go around the other side as well and um tackle that but yeah that's looking that's looking all right actually uh didn't get the car scans I, I think the paint was slightly out but it will it will fade gradually uh, the next job is the wheels so you can see these i, don't, I think these mv1s this particular style um not overly keen on them a i don't like the appear, appearance b they're a bugger to clean you'll notice i've just washed the car and i've missed bits which is my bad um, but what I don't like is they really don't fill up the um, the arch particularly well. Um, so I could I could stick with these wheels and put spacers on. Um, spacers are readily available for these cars. Um, but what I did, I've been to the local scrappy. Now these may be the wrong wheels for this particular car, but I got this style, and these are these are MV2s, which I really like. Uh, and I do know someone with the 3T5 coupe who's got these on, and they look amazing. Now last night we test fitted both these wheels, so if I if I flip them over, um, we can see some writing in here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, so we've got these various letters here um and the you, you've got a different offset on the front and the back um so that means this this part's more dished on the front or more, more or less dished on the front I still haven't quite worked out which way it is so if anyone knows these cars better than me then let me know so this one's got plus on so that we, we assume this has got more of an offset um than the other one now i put I test fitted both of those wheels to the back yesterday and they were sticking out, they were coming out past the arch, which obviously you can't have. Looks great, but um, it's slightly illegal. So I'm going to try the front now and uh, see how that looks. So let's, let's uh, I won't show you jacking it up and all that kind of stuff, but I'll, I'll show you one wheel and show you the other and see what you think. And this, be real, this is a real opportunity for you guys who know these better than me to put something in the comments to help me out. Please help a man with a bid. Right, so that's the non-plus wheel. Uh, I haven't talked it up, but it's, the wheel's on tight. But you can see there, it's sticking out far too much. Now the wheel's slightly turned, but that's, yeah, that's just sticking out far too much. So that's the 18J ordinary wheel non no, hasn't got the plus symbol after it so i'll whip this one off and then we'll put the um the one with the plus symbol on see how that compares but i, I think we may have the wrong wheels 
Right, so the one we've tried first is, uh, where we are, Nine, eight, 8J by 18EH2. This one we're going to try second is 8J, so you can see it there, 8J by 18EH2+. So it's, I assume that means it's a different offset, but I could be reading this wrong. Um, obviously, we're very used to, Austin's had a look at all, we're very used to MG Rover products which is a bit simpler to be honest, but um, I want to get this car looking nice and these are the wheels I do want, but whether these have to go to someone else with the right car, that remains to be seen, but they were, they were 100 quid from a scrappy, so I haven't spent too much. BMW wheels, if you look, are um, quite expensive. So let's get this all on fixed and uh, have a look. Right, so I've just pulled the car out to have a proper look. So I, I'm not gonna put one on the back again because I did that yesterday and it's, um, yeah, that's definitely, so I've moved the car just to sort of free up, free the suspension off. But yeah, even with the wheels slightly turned, that is sticking out far too much. So the question is, are these the wrong size wheels? So, or are they the wrong size tires or both? So do I invest in some tires, which is not about, I mean, I'm gonna get, have to get some tires at some point anyway. So do I buy a set of tyres, get them put on these alloys and test fit it, or do I sell these wheels and start again? Um, the, just to give the size, just, I'm, I'm doing this as much for my own benefit as, uh, as for yours. Yeah, so these are, so the one on the ground, which I put on first, that's, eight, that's uh, 8J by 18 EH2. And the one that's on the car is 8J by 18 EH2+. Plus. Um, it's a real shame because they look bloody lovely. Um, if I look at the profile of the car, I mean, it's going to look different anyway because the tyres are different sizes. Um, I mean, that does look nice. It does look nice, but I'm going to get pulled over. I'm going to get pulled over <laughs> if I drive around like that. I mean, it looks, it looks seriously aggressive, doesn't it? Come on. Um, you're also probably going to get that wheel knocking the, uh, the wing when you go over a bump so i'm gonna i'm gonna park this one here um i'm gonna park this here and go back to the drawing board if anyone has got any ideas please do drop them in the comments below or if you want to get in touch privately go through my facebook page and then send me a message you can see who i am through there um, so i'll spin you around so thanks for watching this uh, BMW video. I'll try and do more content on this car, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get that tire, that wheel put back on, and we'll go back to the drawing board. It's a learn. It really is. Um, yeah, you know, give me a Rover 75 or MGZT. I can tell you all about the wheels and sizes and all that kind of stuff. But with these, I'm a little bit a little bit scratching my head. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't already do so. If you want to get more BMW content or other car content as well, hit the like button, uh, share with your friends, and uh, do drop that comment down below. It's greatly appreciated. I will see you again very soon on the next episode of Beards and Bangers. Goodbye.